Hello everyone. And today we are going to see the question number 5D of paper 2 of UPSC Civil Service Mains 2021. So the question is explain the concept of balance point between compressor and capillary tube in refrigeration system. So what is this concept of balance point? So we know the liquid refrigerant enters in the capillary tube. If we draw the HH diagram, sorry, pH diagram. This is the curve and this is the this is one, two, three and four. This is uh, the no notations of their usual meanings and compression, suction, expansion. All the processes are shown here. Point three is the entry point of the capillary tube where liquid is entering. Okay, this is saturation liquid line. Okay. And uh, liquid refrigerant and as it flows through the pipe, so we will we know the capillary pipe is very small diameter and having some length okay so when it flows through from one end so uh, due to, and so that what happened this is the condenser pressure this is pc condenser pressure and this is evaporator pressure so this is and we know the evaporator evaporator pressure is much much higher than com, sorry com, condenser pressure is much much higher than evaporator pressure so what happens in capillary tube pressure drops due to which friction and acceleration of the refrigerant so what happens some some liquid flashes into the steam here you can see the point number four is in the liquid vapor mixture wet in wet region so some portion of the refrigerant is already in vapor okay so we have to select the capillary tube such that this process will go on but that is a uh, one we have to think something about because there are n number of possible of the uh, length and the this is the diameter of the capillary tube and this is the length so whenever we are designing the capillary tube so there will be n number of possibilities because uh, the capillary design is based on numerical methods iterative methods and uh, some initial assumptions will be there but uh, if you take the another assumption then your design will change but that design is also correct and so that is not only a one fixed criteria that for this much evaporator and conditional pressure and this much capacity uh, you will you have to use this length and diameter you can use another length and diameter also that is also correct but we have to maintain the balance what is that balance let us see so we have there are numerous combination okay so we have to select appropriate one and once capillary tube is appropriate capillary tube is selected and installed in the system so uh, at the starting they cannot the capillary tube cannot adjust the variation in discharge pressure and suction pressure okay so if there is a, some variation in suction or discharge or uh, load condition so that will not the it will not sustain because capillary is a fixed uh, opening type there is only fixed area it is not like thermostatic expansion or okay so only fixed quantity of mass flow rate at fixed pressure and temperature will come and out so the compressor and expansion waves must arrive at suction and discharge condition which allow compressor to pump from evaporator the same flow rate of the refrigerant that the expansion device feed the evaporator so this means what so this is the capillary tube and here your evaporator is there and here compressor your compression starts so this is point 0.4 this is point 0.1 and point 0.2 so what happened initially the this this cannot balance but here compressor is running so there will be imbalance created by this so what so what to do the suction pressure of this capillary and discharge pressure of this compressor must be same and the exit pressure of the capillary and suction pressure of the compressor must be same so what happened due to the same pressure difference the whatever the mass flow rate will coming to, from the capillary to evaporator the same mass flow rate will be going to compressor otherwise what what will happen if uh, more mass flow rate coming in the evaporator then the flooding in the evaporator will be start and uh, choking of the evaporator and less cooling capacity of the system and that, that will cause imbalance other and in other case what happened capillary tube is uh, giving less mass flow rate but compressor is starting to extract more and more so what happened there may be chances to create vacuum and the the pipes of the capillary tube sorry ex, uh, evaporator tube may get uh, compressed if excess pressure is given so and the air is getting trapped or the 
fire or any other gases will go into trap in the compressor and ultimately decrease the volumetric efficiency and overall efficiency of the cycle so the balance should be there so initially when you run turn on the your air conditioner so that is not in balance that is imbalance so when you start the air conditioner so after one or two two to three minutes this uh, balance will automatically happen and uh, the system is running so when this uh, condition that ex the pressure suction and discharge pressure of both capillary and compressor is the same and the same mass product coming up from, from the capillary tube is going to the evaporator so and the same mass product going to the compressor so this condition is called as balance of balance point of compressor and capillary tube so this is about the today's question and i hope you like this question and tomorrow we will see some new questions also and one question that is one only one question also added this question question number 5d this point that is also completed so i hope you enjoy this if you have any doubt you can ask in the comment section and i will solve your doubt in next upcoming videos and try to if possible then try to give in comment section also so we will meet tomorrow with some new questions and like this video and share with your friends and subscribe this channel thank you